With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Consider the marks out of 100 obtained by 51 students of a class in a test. Table is given. Marks number. Draw a frequency polygon corresponding to this frequency distribution table. So according to the question, we have to draw the frequency polygon. So we have to first draw a histogram first. So we will calculate, calculating points where frequency is equals to 0. So calculating points where frequency should be 0. Now difference is 10 minus 0 means this difference of 10. So first point can be written as first point can be written as 0 plus 10 upon 2 minus 10. It means 5 minus 10, it means minus 5. Now we will calculate last point. Last point value is 90 and 100 upon 2 plus 10. So it will be 90 plus 100, 190, 190 divided by 2, 95 plus 10. It means 105. So it means we can say we have to plot the points. We will plot points minus 5 and 0. And second point that I get is 105 and 0. Now we have to draw the histogram first for frequency polygon. Let's draw it. To draw it, we have to take axis, y axis and x axis. It will take more space because the data is very high. So, taking this is origin, let's this is our minus 5 because it is minus 5. So, from this I am taking the difference of 10, 10. This uh, uh, on x axis I am taking marks. X, x. On y axis I will take number of students. This is y. Number of, of students in this. Now taking 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, it is 60, 70, 80, 90 and up to 100 I have to take. 105 is also given. So let this is our 105. 105. Now here up to 9. So up to 10. So we can write here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is why. Now we will draw the frequency table. So let's start. First data is given 0 to 10, 5. So I can draw it 0 to 10, 5 means this one. Zero to 10. Next is 10 to 20. 10 to 20 on 10. So 10 to 20 on 10 means this one. So the table is like this. Now we have to take third part. Third part is 20 to 30 up to 4. So 20 to 30 up to 4 means only here. 20 to 30 up to 4. Next was 6. 30 to 40 up to 6 means this one. Now join the lines. Next is after 6, 7, 3, 2, 2. 7 means 7 means this one. Seven, forty to fifty. After seven to three, it is saying uh, forty to fifty. This is done. Next three, 
3 means this one. 50 to 60, only 3. Now, 60 to 72 means this one. Again 2, 70 to 80. Next is 3 again. 80 to 90, it's 3. And last 90 to 100, it's 9. 9 means from this one. This is 9. So, this is 9. And when we joint it, I get it up to 100. Now, next is saying, uh, now we have to draw polygon frequency table. So, to draw polygon frequency table, I have to take its midpoint. Let's, this is B point, this is C point, D, E, F, G, H, I, J and K. And lastly, there are two points or minus 5 and 105. We have to draw all these points. So, joining these points, minus 5 to B. This one, here, this one also. This is frequency polygon table. C to D, D to E, E to F, F to G. Again, G to H, H to I is on similar platform, I to J and J to K and K to 105. So, this is the frequency polygon table which is asked in the question. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.